What's up everybody? Dracula and son, join me. What's up everybody? Me, the guy with the tie, and we're reviewing Dracula and Son. And they're not plumbers. No, they're fang creatures of the night, the vampire. Meant to destroy thi- Wait, we'll let this cartoon explain what they are. The original vampire made his first appearance, and he was called Survey one in three people is a vampire. Think of it. Think of three of your closest friends. If they seem more right to you, then you're the one. Now that you see that we're not watching a serious movie, bring into Alice's rabbit hole. <laughs> Here we are. Into the world of madness and craziness. I wish I had a hat. I'll just bring my friend into it. <laughs> what do you think? I think you're nuts. I know I'm nuts. Why do you do this? I don't know. All right, buddy. What do you think about this movie? Really? Okay. Uh, I thought it was okay. Oh, shut up. <sighs> Dracula and Sons made me laugh. This is the most European-style Mel Brooks movie ever without European comedy. I loved it. That's the one good thing about this movie. What sucks about this movie is... Story and plot, which makes for a really bad review, but we will try our best. So, without further ado, the review. As you can see from these starting off images, that this is definitely sort of a B-grade hammer film, if there was any th such thing. I know. It's hard to believe that there's something worse than a hammer film. I know. Get stuffed. Huh. Oh... This thing has a lot of Mel Brooks quips. Let's start out with the first one. Well... Inside, the emissary to the Prince of Darkness himself, Juan Miguel Roberto Josefe del Martinez del Morto, also known as Jim. Well, I don't need to go any further. This movie doesn't even need me to like, review it. It just needs to speak. I mean, let me show you a few scenes from the first 10 minutes. Unaware that his attractive traveling companion soon will become the bride of Dracula. Boris, did he say bride of Dracula? But you're asking me, I don't speak in English. Marsha? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha? Ixne Ashme. Or you'll be Edmund Prey by Saturday. Saturday. I was ready. Before I met this stiff. Call me Jim. <laughs> yes! Yes, they exist, therefore they are. I know, it's a little bit crazy, but this is how the movie is gonna be. A lot of quick quips to try to catch you by surprise and make you laugh. I mean, I could take this review to 30 minutes and it still have a lot of funny stuff. I know it's way beyond my time, but. Uh, that's what I'd like to do. Relax. I am doing just fine. Alright? Okay. So, we meet up with Dracula, played for the final time, but for the twelfth time, by Christopher Lee! Yes, it's a good thing. And Christopher Lee does it as well as he always can by being weird. Yeah. Well, to make the story quick and easy, he has a son! Yeah, I know, it's exciting. And with this son, he now brings into the world Bernard Menez. Oh, sorry. His son, Victor. Dracula Jr. Yeah, it's, it's Dracula Jr. Just relax. Oh, where do we begin? Well, for starters, they must leave their land because their whole village is being taken over by Russians. I know, it's scary. <laughs> Shut up. So they escape on a boat, which Dracula does what Dracula does, and his son does what his son does. You don't know what his son does? Well, 
His son is Maxwell Smart. That truck, damn it! I gotta get to bed! But I don't even know you. Terrific. Hey! Shut up, you pineapple, and try to think of something to get us out of here, will you? Just listen to him speak. What are you doing? Stop this truck! My God, he's an animal. I love you. See? He's Maxwell Smart. Or is he Tuxedo, Tennessee? We'll never know. Yeah, I know. Well, he's not Yogi Berra, so get over it. Well, he manages to find himself in the middle of Deluge of France. Francais, décemment. While his father, on the other hand, is found by an acting TV agency. Look at him, he's the dead ringer for Christopher Lee. Oh, wow. Who thinks he's Christopher Lee. Yes, it is meta. We are over it. So, now that they've hired Christopher Lee, he does these, uh, short bits from Dracula. Just watch. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Blood of the Vampire, scene 23, take one. Through the door, sweetheart, good. Now, lots of authority. And... I am Count Dracula, and I was sent here to see Van Heilsink. Tell him I will wait no longer. What do you want? Van Heilsink's not here. Go away. I said go away. Close, but no cigar, honey. It sounds like a bone. Fifteen. Boris Karloff would be nice. Try that. I am Count Dracula. I was sent here to see... 19? 16. Speed! I'm running out of ideas, honey. Surprise me, okay? But we're gathered here to pray for scene 23, take 86. Oh, God. I wish you could watch his language. I am yeah, Count there's about two dozen of those. Do you want to keep watching? I know you didn't want to, but you're going to have to. That's how my reviews go. But as you can tell, I'm just explaining stuff that happened. This movie has a very big glaring issue, and that is called... Storyline. There is no reasoning for this movie to exist besides to make you laugh. I mean, Dracula's son Victor is being pursued by a gay man. You forgot my phone number. Hey! Are you there? Can you hear me? Hello? Please listen to me. I want to give you... Who says stuff like that? Yes. But luckily, he's a little bit smart. And, well, he's Maxwell smart. Being this smart, he decides to get a job in the morgue. Why? Free blood! Because he's Maxwell smart. Isn't that right, Chief? I know, I should be quiet. Well, finally, after he becomes famous TV star and his son sees him on the big screen, and they now meet up, where his father says he has attaché coffins. Ooh. Yeah, I know, it's really cool. I'm not going to get buried in that stuff, though. It costs money. I just want them to beat me up. Well, after meeting up again, they do more of the scenes, and he guess gets to become a millionaire. But we have to carry on from that, because now starts the next story. This woman appears out of nowhere. She is a talent agent. Yes, a very talented talent agent. And a good-looking one, too. Who looks surprisingly like... Yes, exactly. You took the words out of my mouth because it's the same actress. Don't understand how that works, but you know what? We're just gonna go with it. Oh... Okay, we're just gonna go with it. And then... So, Father Dracula decides that he must have her because she reminds him so much of his ex-wife of 300 years past. While the son, on the other hand, falls in love with her in some sort of Oedipus Rex style of thinking. I know it's creepy. I know you think it's creepy, too. But that's just weird, man. That's just weird. Well, he does his darndest to try to trick his dad out of actually making her another vampire. While at the same time, he learns that he has a skill for... Acting as well! Yay! I know this movie has no reason whatsoever. I know, I know. Whatever. The synopsis on IMDb was father and son go through some trolls but get back together. End of story. I love it when that's the only thing it says about this movie. I must own one of like a hundred copies, man. I don't know. The movie's really bad. But we gotta carry on. The father, firmly convinced that his son is trying to dupe him out of something, decides to have a little quarrel with them, which ends up with them 
having to find a place to sleep as both their coffins are chucked out of a window. A plus material. Oh, but all the spooning and pooning and mooning goes on. We finally come out to an ending of our story, thank goodness. Dracula finally realizes that his son loves the girl and is human because he hasn't sucked blood in 300 years. Whoa! Dracula, continu Dracula. Dracula continues to become a successful actor. Yay! And is playing Christopher Lee. Yet Christopher Lee denies that he plays Christopher Lee as Christopher Lee. But that's because Christopher Lee really exists in this Christopher Lee style world. Which means that Christopher Lee is denying that Dracula looks like Christopher Lee. But Christopher Lee will play Dracula because he looks just like Dracula in real life. That is the question of balance. We'll never have answered, I know. So, without further ado, we end the movie. Yeah, relax, relax. Jeez, you can have termites flying everywhere. No, I said chill. So with that being said, the movie! Oh, this movie. I know. Oh, there is a glaring problem with this movie that I must say. Doing the review on this was very tough because it is just a ton of one-liners. That's all this movie is, is a ton of one-liners. I just said that because that's all it is. It needs to be said at least five times for... Ah! Five times to actually understand it. So, I had to watch it twice. The biggest glaring issue besides that one fact is also the storyline is kind of... I did laugh my butt off the first time I saw it, but when the second time came around to do this review, I was kind of like... Uh... So yes, it's a one viewer, which means it gets a 4 out of 10. I know, it's pretty low, especially since it's Christopher Lee playing Dracula for the final time. You'd suspect better. So, without further ado, a 4 out of 10. Am I going to watch it again? Hell no! It's out of here! Ha ha ha! God bless, take care. Catch you all next time.